Hello, welcome to episode 29 of the Daily Disney Podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, It is December the 29th, Wednesday, and as you know, we've got, what, a couple days left of 2021, getting ready for 2022. So this episode is going to be pretty short and sweet. If you are fortunate to be uh, fortunate enough to be down at Disney World or thinking about it, I just want to talk a little bit about what's going on at the parks and the entire Disney World as a whole for New Year's Eve. Um, so, if you have never been there, I've never been there for New Year's. Um, it is absolutely insane. There was a fantastic video, I think, done last year by Michael K, where he was actually at Disney, I think in Epcot, when it struck midnight. Confetti everywhere, people everywhere. It looks awesome. It looks really, really cool. So this year, probably very similar to what they've done in the past. Um, but first off, let's look at the operating hours. The Magic Kingdom is going to be open from 9 a.m. to midnight. Um, The fireworks are going to be at 6.30 p.m. Epcot is going to be open from 11 in the morning till midnight. And on the 30th, Harmonious, the fireworks show, will be at 9.45. And on the 31st, it will be at 6.30. Hollywood Studios will be open from 9 a.m. to midnight. And Animal Kingdom, 9 a.m. to 7. So, that is really where you can be in the park, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Magic Kingdom. Um, There are different resorts that do um, different things, and we'll get to that in a few few minutes. Disney Springs is actually going to be open from 10 a.m. to 1130. Food and beverage carts are going to be around Disney Springs. They're going to have different cocktails. They're going to have unique cocktails, but they're going to have beer, wine, um, some, some appetizers, some things like that. The um, Disney Springs will close at 11.30, but those roads are going to be insane. And I'm assuming it's going to be the same even for a bus ride from Disney Springs back to your resort hotel. So if you're wanting to be somewhere when it strikes midnight, if you leave Disney Springs at 11.30, there's a small chance you could uh, ring in the new year on a bus or sitting in your car. So plan ahead. A few things that a lot of people smarter than me have talked about. You need to be at the park early in the morning to pick your park, basically, and kind of be locked into that because they will reach capacity. When they reach capacity, nobody else can get into the parks. And the most common one will obviously be the Magic Kingdom. Guests staying at a Disney resort are not guaranteed admittance into the park and must have a reservation plus a valid ticket in order to enter. Um, If you have a dining reservation, that does not mean that you automatically get in. So be prepared. A lot of people will recommend renting a locker, especially if the weather is going to be a little iffy. You can maybe put some sweatshirts or stuff in a locker, pick it up later. Um, you know, as it starts to get cooler, cooler in the evening, stuff like that. The Disney Genie Plus Lightning Lane, I, I mean, it's something you're going to have to look into because there are really long waits on these days. These are the most popular days of the year, and the wait times will be crazy long, so be prepared. There's going to be a lot of live entertainment going on, so make sure you're up to date with that. Um, they, they do have special midnight fireworks, so... Make sure you're in a position to see those. And like I mentioned, the roads around the resorts everywhere will be absolutely insane. It will be crazy, crazy for that. So the whole thinking is go ahead and make your reservation and get prepared. And you should be good to go. So one thing to think of is to... Be ready. Make a reservation. If you haven't already have made that, you need to hurry. You need to plan ahead. You need to pick your park and probably stay there most of the day. And then also you need to prepare when you're leaving Animal Kingdom, uh, Disney Springs, some of those that do close. 
the worst thing in the world will probably be ringing in the new year at midnight on a bus coming back from Disney Springs because you're stuck in traffic. So there's a ton of different dining areas um, going on at Disney Springs. Um, the one that I want to touch on is the Edison's Dazzling New Year's Eve Gala. It's filled with live entertainment, dining, open dance floor. Starts at 8 p.m. They have different performances through the night, a DJ. Um, there's signature appetizers, food stations, all kinds of things going on. And then at midnight, celebratory champagne toast, all kinds of fun, going, fun things going on. So this is, this is in addition to what you're, you know, um, paying just for normal food. Um, you can reserve a table to accommodate two to 10 guests, uh, 150 bucks per person. This has been out there for a while. Last I checked, there are still um, reservations available, but um, really the opportunity to spend New Year's at a Disney park would be really, really cool. The opportunity to be at Disney World would be really, really cool. So I think um, I think it would be totally worth it, but you have to pack your patience. You need to be smart. And again, it's one of those things where you have to kind of have a game plan. You can't go into this on New Year's saying, I'm going to ride every single ride. This cannot be like your one day at Magic Kingdom where you want to ride all the big rides. You need to go in saying, okay, we want to be there ready for the midnight fireworks. So we're going to get there early. We're going to pace ourselves, maybe leave, come back. You don't do things like that. Um, so if you're there, have fun. Good luck. Be smart. Be safe. Um, use your head. Um, and... Just enjoy it. Enjoy it for what it's worth. That's what a lot of people, they think about these fantastic events and fantastic things at Disney. And then they never hit the expectations because they put it on such a high pedestal. If you're going to be at the Magic Kingdom or Epcot on New Year's Eve, you're going to be standing around a lot waiting for food and drinks. And there's going to be crowds. And there's going to be long waits for everything. And once it gets closer to midnight, it's going to get compacted and really crazy. So if you are concerned about COVID, a mask, or stay on the other side of the park if you can. You need to be prepared, you need to be smart, and at the end of the day, it's going to be a great time, it's going to be a great celebration. I know this is a couple of days out, but um, starting to already look at New Year's plans and starting to think uh, what's going on, and some of these live streamers are starting to announce that they're going to be there. So if you're like me, in Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, many, many, many hours away, I'm going to sit on my couch, watch some football, and then once we get close to midnight, I might put on one of these live streams and ring in the new year with one of our friends down in down in Florida. So that's it. Comment below. Let me know if you are going to be at the parks. Um, this is the Daily Disney Podcast. I thank you so much for being here with us. Um, check us out on YouTube. It's the Daily Craig. That's our YouTube channel. And the... Whoops, I'm sorry, the Twitter handle is at Daily Disney Pod. And we, we love to hear from people. Thank you. We're picking up followers every day. We're picking up subscribers to the podcast. So thank you to that. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to all of your uh, your favorite podcast outlet. And um, we're going to try to put one of these out every single day, even if they're shorter like this, where we're just talking a little bit about some stuff. But New Year's would be really cool to be at the park. It's on my list for sure that I want to do it one of these days and hopefully we can get there soon. So let me know, leave me a comment. Um, if you are going to be at the parks on New Year's Eve, I'd love to know what you're going to see. And then afterwards, if you were there, let me know how it was. It looks really, really crazy, but it also looks really, really fun. So thank you so much for joining us and we will talk to you later. Take care.